Hey there TRW crew, Matt Vassallo here with the rhinestoneworld.com. So in this TRW lab, I'm going to do a pretty awesome test that a lot of you have been asking for. So, got my coffee mug here. Now I want to make an awesome coffee mug for the wife and I want it to be glitter vinyl. And I want it to be a nice glitter vinyl like our Caesar glitter heat transfer vinyl. So I did a test a few days ago where I pressed our glitter heat transfer vinyl onto our bling anything material. Well, I'm going to try that again here so you can see my design that I have here. Now, I did a video probably about two years ago where I used a mug press and I pressed the glitter heat transfer vinyl directly onto the mug, okay? But the problem with that is you need a mug press, the time temperature settings were all difficult. So if we use our bling anything material, press our heat transfer vinyl to the bling anything material, and then that turns it into a sticker. We apply it to our coffee mug, and then I'm gonna do some awesome testing, and I'm gonna actually video the actual coffee mug going through the dishwasher to see how it lasts. How awesome is that? So let's go ahead and get this made. Okay, so our first step is cutting the Caesar Glitter heat transfer vinyl on our vinyl cutter. So the vinyl cutter I'm using here is our Graftech CE6040 vinyl cutter. I'm using a 60 degree blade and I have a cut force of 16 with a vinyl overcut feature used from our TRW Design Wizard software. Now the vinyl overcut feature that I'm using is what is going to allow me to cut such fine detail and small letters, but still be able to weave the thicker glitter heat transfer vinyl very easy. So that is a huge feature and a big benefit of owning our software, the TRW Design Wizard. All right, now that we have our cut done, I have my weeding tool and you can see how easy it is to weave this very, very fine detail using that vinyl overcut feature. So we wouldn't get results like this without using that feature in the software, which allows us to speed up the process and the production time. Okay, so the two main materials I'm gonna be using in my demonstration here is this here is our glitter, Caesar glitter heat transfer vinyl that we have available on the website. And then this is our bling anything material. So this is what we typically use to make rhinestone car decals, but now we found another purpose for it to be able to make these glitter stickers or decals that we're gonna try out on the coffee mug here. And then we're gonna do all the testing, let you guys know, and let you know if it's good enough to sell something like this. All right, so we have our Hotronics heat press at 305, which is the temperature for our Caesar glitter heat transfer vinyl. Got my bling anything material. We have two different sides. We have a shiny side and we have a dull side. We're gonna apply it to the shiny side of our bling anything material. And I'm just gonna drop that right there. And then my protective cover sheet, I'm just gonna cover this and just basically sandwich it in between there. And we're gonna go ahead and drop down here for about five to six seconds. All right, so we got that applied there. Now what we're gonna do is just pull off our transfer, and you can see it is now applied to our bling anything material. So now what we're gonna do is just trim around this area. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're just going to trim around this. Now the nice thing about this material is the material is so clear, you don't need to really get perfect with it because once it goes on to the coffee cup or mug or whatever, tumbler, whatever you're putting it on, this material kind of disappears with the background. So it looks a little cloudy, but it's actually, once you peel it off, it's very clear. All right, and there we go. We have our trimmed out glitter decal to go ahead and apply to the mug now. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and apply this to our mug right here. And let's see what it looks like. So a great thing about this material is just basically an adhesive. So all I need to do is release the backer from it. It's basically just like a sticker now, okay? So when I pull this off here, 
You can see how clear that material is back behind it as I'm pulling this off. So see that there? See how I can see right through it? All right, so let's go ahead and get this applied. And we want it to go right along the bottom. I'm just gonna look at the word coffee at the bottom to get it lined up good. So word coffee at the bottom looks good there. That looks pretty good to me. All right, so now I'm just gonna press into the different areas here just to get that applied down there good. And you can see, this is what's really awesome about it, is how that bling anything material is basically just disappearing. You can't even see it now. So it looks, it doesn't really look like there's any extra material on there, but think about it. If you were to apply uh, sign vinyl or something to this, these real little thin areas Eventually, if you hit your fingernail against it or something as you're drinking your coffee each morning, well, that's going to eventually start to come off. Because this is on a big decal here with our bling anything material and it's basically just disappearing, well, guess what? That's going to solve that issue. So, there we go. Check that out. How awesome is that? Alright, so that's it. This is your finished product right here. Pretty sweet looking, right? But this is where the rhinestone world in TRW takes you to the next level. So we do the testing for you. Other businesses out there aren't going to do this side of it. So I got my little GoPro here. I'm going to actually GoPro this coffee mug we just made going through the dishwasher. Let's see how it holds up. I'm getting ready to test to see how the bling anything with the glitter heat transfer vinyl works in the dishwasher and we're going to record the entire thing on the GoPro here with some lights in the dishwasher. Not going to get testing like this done anywhere else. Alright, here we go in the dishwasher. Good luck coffee mug. test is on let's open it up that's a good sign we got a lot of steam here the lights are still on the GoPro is still on and the mug in the heat transfer vinyl is still on check that out all right, so there you go, guys. Round one in the dishwasher is done. Still looks perfect. We're going to keep washing it with each wash. We will keep you updated on the results of it, but much, much better. I mean, it's a heat transfer vinyl, and it's on the bling anything material. So something that wasn't even possible before this, and especially with these little areas right here, you would assume with even the regular sign vinyl, those areas are gonna come off, but thinking about it and thinking about, hey, let's heat press it to a big decal, make it one decal, which is our bling anything material. That was my thought process on it. Maybe that'll work. There's only one way to find out, and you guys got to test it with me. So we're gonna wash this some more, keep testing it out. The GoPro survived, so that's pretty awesome as well, and I'm going to have some awesome testing in the future. Now that I see that this works, we're going to be testing everything through the washer. I was even thinking of putting the GoPro in the uh, washing machine. Might be hard to see what's going on as it's flipping around, but it'd still be cool, right? So, there you go right there. I will keep you guys updated, but round one is a hero for the Glitter Caesar Heat Transfer Vinyl pressed to the Bling Anything material on a basic coffee mug. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just give us a call. Number is 941-755-1696. This is Matt with the rhinestoneworld.com and you all have a wonderful day.
So did you enjoy this tutorial video? Would you like to see over 2,000 more tutorial videos just like this one teaching you the rhinestone, the heat transfer vinyl, the sign vinyl business? Click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click over here to go to our website, therhinestoneworld.com, or click one of these videos right here to watch one of our most recent videos. Thanks for watching, and you all have a wonderful day.